Migration is not limited only to Africans. Migration takes place every day, worldwide, and for different reasons. Migration has different faces. Legal migration, illegal migration, human smuggling, human trafficking. There are also a number of unwanted scenarios that might cripple countries as a result of migration. Brain drain and human capital is one issue with poorer countries, while it benefits other countries in search of employees to enhance their lack of human resources and with it their economic growth. For years, Malta has led very good relations with most countries, including African ones. Years ago, Maltese migrated to mainly North African countries, and North Africans migrated to Malta. The only difference then is that all took place in a legal and organized way. Not only that, many Maltese worked in North African countries or on a rotational system. Maltese missionaries have been in Africa not only for spiritual purposes, but opened schools, hospital centers, and others. Several youths travel yearly to Africa to support different communities in their needs. We are all out for organized legal migration, and our doors are open to those who are interested in and willing to come to Malta like any other national. We also have to deal with human smuggling from North African shores. My country's experience with human smuggling of African migrants goes back a few years. In 1972, a small number of refugees from Uganda came to Malta and were given temporary refuge until they were resettled in another country. Fast forward to the early 2000s. Malta started witnessing regular tragedies at sea. African migrants and refugees smuggled on unseaworthy boats on a voyage to Europe in search of a better life. Our experience with this phenomenon has shown that many people are fleeing situations of violence and persecution, a reality which we cannot ignore. But we have also learned that the lack of opportunity and poverty can be just as aggressive, pushing people to move in search of hope and a future. What we see in Malta and across Europe is a small fraction when compared to the movement of people across the vast African continent. Our national population has struggled with it and continues to struggle with it. But African migrants have also had a difficult time dealing with our own systems. Human smuggling and illegal migration from Africa and the Middle East to Europe is posing a change in the political mm -hmm. texture across Europe. And I think this is one of the most important points. Anti-migrant populists and far-right movements are gaining ground across many European countries. This in itself is changing the political perspective with divisions between European countries and frictions due to lack of solidarity with countries at the extreme borders of the European Union. The sudden influx has brought about a social and cultural shock to countries not prepared for change. It is important to keep in mind that we need a comprehensive approach towards migration, including, including in the various aspects relating to cooperation between states. The Valletta Summit of 2015 clearly recognized the high degree of interdependence between Africa and Europe as regards the common challenges having an impact on migration. In the same spirit of cooperation displayed at the Valletta Summit, Europe and Africa need to continue engaging in constructive dialogue on the basis of the principles of solidarity, partnership, and shared responsibility. We see the HLPM having an important role in influencing the discussion on migration in Africa. However, it will be crucial to ensure that discussions are based on pragmatic and practical ideas and solutions. This can be a good space for the exchange of ideas, projects, experiences. Emphasis is to be given to the socio-economic dimension of migration. It is my opinion that this subject 
entails a whole conference dedicated solely to this issue and how different international institutions, NGOs, governments can come together to enhance education, especially directed to shortfalls in knowledgeable human resource to fill job opportunities worldwide. It is important to share not only successes, but also failures. Because in the area of migration, it is important that we all learn from our mistakes and work together to find common solutions. In conclusion, I would like to say, Madam President, that we look forward to participating in the HLPM and contributing with our ideas and experiences. Thank you very much.